Hey everybody, Mike here. And Carly. And we wanted to make a quick video talking about the cruise that we went on. At the beginning of the year. At the beginning of the year, it was toward the end of January into early February, February 2020, right before COVID. Right before the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, we wanted to make a review based on our experiences on the Carnival Horizon, what we liked, what we didn't like, and I thought it would be a good idea to bring Carly's opinion on board since this was her first time being on board, if you will. First time cruiser, long time cruise hater. <laughs> she was very anti-cruise for a long time, her mm -hmm. entire life, ever yeah. since she's... She watched the Titanic. Ever since you watched the Titanic, because you were afraid that the well, crew sink. would sink and be eaten by sharks. Yep, it's a horrible death. And that was her, the basis of her fear for cruising. And she thought that cruises were only for old people, there was nothing to do. Why waste your time and spend your money just to be on a ship in the middle of an ocean? Yeah, why would you want to spend three days on the ocean to get somewhere when you can jump on a flight and spend four hours to get there? Sure. Uh, valid. Valid thoughts. Uh, and, and, you know, that's why it's important to broaden your horizon, if you will, and Is try to... you took me on the horizon? Aha! Uh -huh. That's why I... If, uh, effectively dragged her onto this ship. Uh, I I bought the tickets and did everything kind of behind her back. Yeah, sure did. She I showed up to work one day and he told me that he had gotten tickets. Didn't discuss it with her. Nope. Just kind of did it. Mm -mm. Uh, I thought he was kidding at first. I and I thought I like, had to do this because she would never say yes to a cruise. So I have I had to force her. I to thought try. you know the point of a relationship it's communication and agreeing and compromising i don't think that was yes. any of those things and i agree with that if it made logical sense it does make logical sense if you've been on a cruise before and you hated it and you have ptsd or something <laughs> then yes okay i understand but you had no logical basis for or rationale according to you i didn't correct so hmm. anywho we uh, wanted to make a video just reviewing the, our entire experience based off of it. And so starting with the embarkation process, we Ubered from our hotel to the port, which was like five minutes away. Yeah. Um, our Uber driver did miss the exit a few times, mm, so it took a little longer, but it was fine. Uh, once we Good got... Thing we left with enough time. Yeah. To get there. Yeah. Uh, we left. I think they wanted us to board around like noon or something oh yeah we did i forget the, it, all the we information really yeah you should watch our videos the link will links will be here somewhere uh, watch the videos it has like time stamps so uh, and everything that we did on the cruise but we showed up early um hoping we could get on board be like the first ones to get there uh once we got out of the uber the porters porters mm -hmm. they were there uh, ready to assist anyone with luggages they were very friendly very helpful yeah they do not work for the cruise lines mm -hmm. they work for the port Right, so make sure you tip them. Yes, uh, like five bucks a bag. Uh, so we get, we had two mm -hmm. bags, so we gave them ten bucks. Um, once they took our our luggage, we walked into the terminal, went through the security check-in process. Which is super fast. Super fast, super easy. Uh, when I was on cruises a long time ago, it but was... wasn't that because we had something like priority boarding or something? Because it have was priority. one line and then we went around yes, it and skipped that line. That is correct. We did have priority boarding because our stateroom was a suite. Mm. Um, they, some, cruise, some ships have faster to the fun where you could pay extra to get like the ahead of the line and early boarding and stuff, but... Uh, this that was not available for this cruise for us, but regardless, um, it was still so fast to get yeah. on board. I think I don't even remember how long we had I don't to wait. Even think we had a line. Less, than, less than an hour, right? Yeah, we barely waited in any line. We waited longer once we were in there, ready, just sitting, waiting to get inside the ship. Yeah, that's right. We were just sitting there waiting in the lobby until our um, group was called to yeah. board. But it was super fast, super efficient, especially compared to when I was on uh, years ago. It took a lot longer. And then when we got onto the ship for the first time, anti-cruiser, what were your first impressions? It did not look like a ship at all. It, if anything, it just looked like a really big mall. Um, the atrium has a huge bar with this... Some centerpiece. Yeah, like and it just... Digital design, which was really cool. Right. So it was playing like pictures at one point, and then at some other point, it just had like random designs, designs. artsy, fartsy stuff. Um, yeah. You had the front desk, 
a bunch of shops. I feel like at that point I was still trying to convince myself that I was not going to have a good time. Mm-hmm. Self-fulfilling prophecy. Yeah. And then once we got into like the Lido deck and got to see the rest of the ship, I kind of like warmed up to it. I was like, okay, maybe this will be a cool experience. And Yeah, because we explored the ship that first day. Yeah. Uh, went to the top deck, got a drink and... Um, everything just looks so clean and yeah. spacious and yeah. uh, our first drink was incredible it was the it was her favorite drink at first yeah. which was the blackberry, blackberry fizz, fizz. Uh, at the pig and anchor mm-hmm. and then just being at the top of the lido and looking at like the miami waters and just having that view and just so open air pretty. yeah it was really really nice so she started to like okay maybe this won't be as bad mm-hmm. and then we checked out a stateroom stateroom yes so it just looked like a normal hotel room not a cruise ship room i mean you had a king size bed you had a dresser you had the couch you had the balcony you had a double sink you had a i guess a huge bathroom for yeah. a cruise yeah it was big um big, big bathroom i loved it Com- bed was comfy yeah you had a, like a huge um mirror to get ready mm-hmm. and it was clean it like, was very yeah. clean yeah oh and you had the closet and oh then yeah when you slid the, the that little Door extra open. closet space. Yeah, right? the lights would turn on. Yeah, a little changing space. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. It was uh, that was the first time I've ever been in a suite, and uh, it was awesome. If yeah. if I had uh, the money, we would get a suite every, every time. time. Yeah. But since we like to save money, do we? We try. I mean, I do. Yeah, we try. You don't. So what do you think? Next time we go on a cruise, if there is a next time, which I we'll know. find out at the end of this video if she overall enjoyed it enough to go on another one. But if we ever do go on another cruise, would you want to get a suite or just stick with a balcony or or save even more money and get just a window or save the most money and get nothing at all, an interior room, That's walls? Walls, just walls, interior, no. inside the ship. No, I would but not it like is to a, pay to feel like I'm in jail. But it's super cheap. Okay, so I'm going to so... keep the balcony. <laughs> okay. I don't need it to be a suite. Okay. More than a window. Yeah, I don't want a window. Gotcha. I agree. I think suites would be nice. Like, if the if they wanted to upgrade us for maybe a couple bucks more, Yeah. I'd probably do that. But like how much? A couple bucks? If $50. they say 10 bucks per person per day. Okay. I can, yeah, I can deal with that. Mm-hmm. But but yeah, I think we'll opt for just a balcony room next time. Uh, balcony is a must. Yes. It was great having that option to step outside there. Have coffee in the mornings there. Yeah, just like just ha- having so that coffee peaceful. delivered to your room yeah. with like pastries, and then you just sit out there and mm-hmm. just it's relaxing. It was nice. It was really nice. Yeah. Um. So okay. So good on the state room. Yes. Good on the embarkation process. Yeah. First impressions were good. Um, and then let's talk about the islands that we went to and the excursions and stuff. So the first island we went to was Grand Turk. How was the process getting off the ship? Yeah, it was pretty easy to go down. You just go all the way down to the lowest level and then you scan your card and get out. Yeah. And yeah, it wasn't that much long. I don't think there was a wait. No, but I also think we are like the first people to be out there. Maybe. Yeah. It's like we made it a thing to make sure that we woke up early every morning even if we didn't have an excursion plan like we just wanted to make sure that we were up by like seven if we didn't or eight Mm -hmm. if we didn't have anything to do yeah and then at like 5 30 or 6 if we had plans to go do an excursion or something right grand turk we did not do any excursions Mm -hmm. we just found out at the beach yeah just found like a one of the free beach chairs by was it a Margaritaville? What was it? It was a Margaritaville. It was a Margaritaville? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So, thoughts on Grand Turk? I think I l- wouldn't come back. I liked just hanging out at the beach for half a day and then going back and moving on. I mean, the... There wasn't that much the to do there. The side yeah. of the island where we were on, which is Grand Turk, like, there was nothing there like there was a couple shops a margaritaville a pool and then just and the beach and the beach yeah the water was really nice yeah and then you can do like excursions mm-hmm. like meet our like 
jet skis or, or go do on yeah. dune buggy i think yeah. they had dune buggies there too but we, we opted not to do anything on grand turk just based on the reviews i was reading and stuff they it didn't sound like there was a lot to do or it was worth the money so we ended up just taking it easy on that first one um, yeah. but yeah i agree i wouldn't go back to grand turk mm-hmm. on my like own time um, if the sh- cruise ship was stopping there again sure um, but i wouldn't th- i don't think i would make a dedicated trip to yeah. Grand Turk. Maybe a different part of Turks and Caicos. But if it's free, we'll go. Oh, obviously. <laughs> and then uh, we went to La Romana after that, which is the DR. We did dune buggies there. That was a lot of fun. Your thoughts on La Romana and dune buggy excursion? Um, La Romana was whatever. People rave about the DR. I don't know what part of the DR they go to. I feel like it's definitely not La Romana. Not La Romana. La Romana, there wasn't much to do there also. It was also. just like plantations, was, yeah. like sugarcane yeah. um, plantations. So that's what we did. We got in the dune buggies and then we drove all the way down to the plantation. They like had samples of the sugarcane for us. Um, bring goggles. Oh, when you do the dune buggies. Yes. Yeah, bring goggles. That mud got all up on I your had face. Mud in my eye boogies for like three days. And your nose boogies. But Just we, yeah, we had the bandanas brain. on and stuff. That did nothing. We yeah, had wasn't... sunglasses. That did nothing for us yeah, either. Yeah, bring like legit goggles. Yeah. I mean, and we like were... a, a legit maybe like motorcycle mask bandana thing to protect yeah. you from all the mud and dust. Bring that an gets N95 or something. But was it worth it? <laughs> Did you like it? Was it worth it? Yes, it was a lot of fun. I would do that again. Yeah, La Romana, the the, of course, like just like Grand Turk, La Romana, Grand Turk, they were beautiful places where we were, but not much in terms of activities to like want to come back to spend a couple days there. I wouldn't do but that. Did we research more activities? Are um, we being like, oh, there was nothing else to do. That's so right, right. Like we we, we just don't know. About we just it. don't know about it. But we asked a few people on the cruise also, yeah, and they said that they. They've been to these places multiple times, and there's like nothing to yeah. re- really do there. The excursion was fun though. Dune buggy mm-hmm. was fun, um, and then we went to Curacao. Ugh. Curacao was really nice. So pretty. Yeah, very cute. Very um, very cute. We Just did like Pinterest. Yeah, pin, pin, Pinterest is that a thing? I don't is that know. a term? I would definitely go back to Curacao. I would love to try their food. I mm. think it would be delicious. Um, don't order whatever drink I ordered. Watch the video. I nearly died. It was so strong. Um, so that's why you should order it. Because no. it was strong. No. You mm. can't. Did I even finish it? I don't remember. Um, the houses were so cute. They were all like pretty pastel colors. Um Everyone was friendly except for the lady at the bathroom. Um, oh, yeah. Bathroom, public bathrooms are not public. You have to pay to go in them. It was in a touristy spot. So and else. no one tells you this. So you're trying to go in the bathroom and this lady was yelling at me because I didn't have cash to pay her to go to the bathroom. And there was no sign that said that you needed to pay for it. She could have just been some random person pretending. No, and then she was whining and complaining about me to mm. the other lady next to her. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely go back and just bring cash to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, that uh, Curacao was definitely a place that we thought we could spend, like actually fly to and spend a couple days yeah. there. Um, there seemed like a lot to do, a lot to explore and check mm-hmm. out. Uh, felt very safe and... Yeah. Well, what about the cocktail tour? Did you like that? Would you do it again? Do you recommend it? Was that Curacao or? That was Curacao. The cocktail tour by night, where we met the other two, that, that other couple. Remember, we went to each bar. Mhm. That, that was Curacao. That was Curacao. I think that was Aruba. No. Welcome to Curacao. Mm, yes, you're right. You're right. So, how did you <laughs> like the cocktail tour by night? I did like it. I feel like three bars wasn't really enough. Yeah, I, I think so. I liked it. And then I also liked that they gave you shots in the bus. In the bus. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Um, I recommend it. I think it was worth doing. Uh, they take you to a couple different bars. Then they tell you a little bit of, like history. Um, yeah. And just their culture. Right. And you, we met some cool people. Yeah. Made some good we friends. We met another couple. Um, young couple. Yeah. So it, it, I think it's worth doing. I don't know if I'll do it again. 
um maybe just go out exploring on our own or maybe doing like a food tasting one yeah, next time that, yeah for yeah sure. but yeah it's worth it i think you should do it if you like to drink and then after curacao we went to aruba and we did horseback riding there right yes horseback riding Aruba and horseback riding. Yes. Would you go back to explore? Um, would you do the horseback riding again? I would go back to explore. I just feel like I would do research to go to like an actual beach. Yeah, I was expecting when we got to Aruba to actually port near a beach. Right. Where you could Kinda like, like we to. did at Grand Turk. Right, but there were excursions and taxis that would take you to specific beaches. And then, uh, but instead of doing that, we did the horseback riding tour, which we thought uh, would take us to the beach and we'd have time at the beach, but we didn't end up. It took us to the beach, but yeah, we didn't but we have never time yeah to, to actually like out. enjoy They're it. They're just like, all right, let's go back. Yeah, we got there, <laughs> take a picture, and leave. Um, yeah. That was her first time riding horses, though, yeah. and uh, and just checking out like the the desert of Aruba, which was interesting. I was yeah. expecting it to be more tropical, but it was very dry. Yeah, very a lot dry. of a lot of cactus, cacti. Yeah. Um, but would you do the horseback riding again? I would, even though I feel bad for the horses. Curacao and Aruba would be two places I would like to go back to to explore, um, not on a cruise, like to actually fly there and spend a couple of days there, and you know check out the beaches and do other things. Yeah. For like three days. I feel like three, four days would be plenty more than enough. Yeah. Because they're tiny little islands. Right. And then the horseback riding, definitely recommend it. It was yeah. fun. I got destroyed. My hands got like chafed like crazy. He had a little bit of a stubborn hurt. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Who kept bouncing everywhere. And oh man, it was it was painful. Um, it was very entertaining. I watch. would do it again, uh, I, I think. But yeah. I would rather do dune buggies in my opinion. Yeah. But then after that, we just had a couple sea days going to these islands and on the way back home. How did you like the sea days? Being stuck at sea that you were so against before. Are you it still was... against it? Do you, do you think just that idea of being out to sea is, not, is still not as enjoyable and not worth what you actually experience? That's my question to you. It, it is worth it. But I also feel like I don't want to be stuck in a ship when I can just fly and spend those two extra days at sea doing something on an island. Even at an island? Like you think so you you think the amount of activities and the food and, and the views of the ocean itself are still not worth that time that could be utilized at a, at an island. That's what you're saying. Yes. Oh, okay. I disagree with you. I think that is like part of the cruise experience yeah. is experiencing I mean, the sh experiencing the ship itself, experiencing the entertainment they have on board. Like at a theme park, right? You're at a theme park um, on board a ship with good food, good music, good entertainment. I think that is part of the cruise experience, and that itself is just as good as going to an island, in my opinion. I disagree. Okay, um, how what did you think of the shows and the entertainment oh and the God. activities? The shows were incredible. Like, yeah. Broadway. Very well put together. Oh, yeah. They were the good dancers. Good voices, the good dancing. Yeah. They were very, very talented. Yeah. Um, two thumbs up on, on the shows and entertainment. For Activities, sure. trivia was fun. Yeah. Uh, they had salsa dancing lessons, mm -hmm. which was fun. Um, the towel folding that we never made it to. We made it to the end of the towel folding <laughs> to see the finished products of people's yes. towel folding skills. Um, and then we did like you know a bunch of bars and stuff like that. But. I like the conveniency of walking down to Alchemy Bar or Pig and Anchor or pretty much anywhere and just grab a drink. Yeah, for even like from our stateroom. Yeah. Because our stateroom was like on the seventh deck or something. So it was easy to just go like two floors down to the fifth deck where a lot of the cafes were. Mm -hmm. Or like two floors up or three to the Lido deck. Um, it was really convenient. Take a nap. Wake up. Go eat. Drink. Go back. Take a nap. No time wasted. <laughs> I don't think we took that many naps though. We I think feel like we took a nap <laughs> almost every day. Um, Cheers package. That that is the package that Carnival offers, where you pay X amount of dollars daily per person, um, where you all you can drink. So bottomless. Yeah, bottomless. But it's not truly bottomless. I think they you're you you're limited though. to fifteen drinks 
per person a day. per day, which is a lot. It's a lot of drinks. I think the most we had was 10 or 11. Uh, I got to look. I did, I did the calculations, yeah. which will be in another video soon to be posted, whether the Cheers package was financially worth it. But what did you think? Was it worth it, uh, in your opinion, just the overall? Yes. Why? Absolutely. Because you don't have to worry about like doing the math of keeping track of how many drinks you've consumed and adding tip to it because tips are already included, right? Uh, tip is included. You can give extra tip if you want. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not good at math, so <laughs> I don't want to be worrying about five tr drinks deep, keeping track of how many drinks I've had. And yeah. Am I going over my budget or whatever? So. No, I agree. Um, the Cheers package, even though it felt like a lot to uh, pay for all up front at once, it was nice being for there. For peace of mind. Yeah, peace of mind. Like You don't have to worry about, oh man, how much money am I spending on drinks right now? I got to go check my sale and sign card to see what my account balance is. You don't have to worry about any of that. This is already paid for. You just order your drinks, sign your name, Tips already included. You don't have to worry about anything. Just sign your name and be on your way. If you really like the service or bartender, you can give extra tip if you want. Uh -huh. um, but it was just for the decreased amount of stress, and it's already like it, I, I would do it again. Yeah. Okay. What about the ship itself? Uh, it's a pretty new ship. Mm -hmm. How was the service? The staff? The crowds? The ship itself? What did you think? Two thumbs up. It was very clean, very new. The staff was super nice and helpful. Like, it, I worked in the restaurant industry for like five, seven years, I mm -hmm. think. And I was never that nice. I mean, I was <laughs> nice, but. Can't you tell? She smiles so often, right? <laughs> Um, I just have RBF, you guys. The the staff, they were all super friendly, very nice, very helpful. Mm -hmm. Like, they genuinely wanted to get to know you. Yeah, they wanted, or at least they acted or, like Yeah, <laughs> they were very good actors. Yeah, yeah they, they really wanted to, day. like, they were really interested in getting to know you and just try to provide you the best service possible. I don't think we had, did we have any bad encounters with any of the staff? I don't no. think we did. The magician even was Yeah, nice. yeah. The uh, magician was <laughs> also really nice. <laughs> Ro, was his name? Ro? I don't know. Rohan? Oh, yeah. I think it was Rohan. Yeah. Um, cruise director Mike. Oh, my God. Very funny. He just got promoted. Uh, he just got, yeah, he's going to, well, he got promoted to, I think, what, like, cruise director of all yeah. the ships or something? Or, yeah. like, the trainer of cruise directors oh, or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then now he's going to be the cruise director of the Mardi Gras, which is, like, their newest, mm. biggest ship. And it's supposed to be super amazing which i would love to go on yeah wouldn't you like that i would love that mm. i might have to do it behind your back again no <laughs> anyways everyone was nice cruise director was awesome service staff was awesome the it was it did not feel crowded on that ship at no. all mm -mm. i don't think at any point we no. it at the adult pool it felt a little crowded it took some time to find a a spot to lie down to chill remember um in the pool section area mm. like yeah trying to find like a not the adults. The adult section too wasn't as bad. Like but the upstairs. Yeah, the upstairs. But the main community pool area was a little difficult trying to find uh, a spot to tan. Mm -hmm. But we ended up finding a spot Which after is, waiting, what, like 10 minutes? Yeah. Maybe 15 minutes? Wasn't we got bad a at drink all. and then we found a spot. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't bad at all. That was a big ship. Uh, I chose that ship in particular because I wanted Carly's first time to be at, in a you know clean, up-to-date, kind of like state-of-the-art ship. Uh, a lot of ships I was on in the past because they were a lot older and cheaper. Uh, they had like you know carpeting and like old style artwork and it was antique. Antique, style. yes. And I I I wanted to I wanted to avoid that for her first time because I didn't I wanted her to experience uh, you know perfection for the first time. Yeah, but now you've set the standard like pretty high. Yes, but but I think. When I take her on the next cruise, I want it to be one of the older, smaller ships <laughs> because it's a different... Uh, you want to ground me a little? <laughs> yeah. Well, no. I want, I'll, I think you will enjoy just how uh, more cozy it is and like the sense of community in a smaller ship. I don't like community. Rather than it's so big and us like running around the entire ship like a smaller no, ship. No, but that's how you stay fit when you stuff your face True. all day long yeah, like we, we did. Yeah, we only took the stairs everywhere and walked everywhere. But still, I want you to experience the little old ship compared to the Carnival Horizon, and then I would like to get onto the Carnival Mardi Gras at some point with Cruise Director Mike. He 
He's not there. He's going to be the cruise director. No, he's moved on to bigger and better things. Mardi Gras. <laughs> bigger and better. Uh, maybe. Maybe better. Food. We didn't talk about the food yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, we did a bunch of specialty dinings. Mm-hmm. We did the Italian. We did the steakhouse. We did the Asian. Asian. We did the hibachi. Uh, we did the... S- and then... Uh, us, y- yeah. And then, oh, we did the chef's table. Yes. And then we also yes. did the buffet and, yes. and the brunch and the main dining rooms. Um, start with the specialty restaurants. Overall impressions. My favorite was... The Italian, the Cucina Del Capitano. Capitano. Were any of them bad? No. They were all really good. They were all really, really good. It was just a matter of, I could get this, like the steakhouse, it was really good, but it's like, I can find a good steakhouse. Like here, somewhere. Like I can go to Morton's in Bethesda or like Ruth's Chris. It wasn't unique in my opinion. Yeah. Like uh, the the dessert table. That was was cool. That was really cool. It was like artwork. I mean, the taste was like whatever. It was more for the show mm-hmm. uh, and, and just the, uh, you know, the art. But yeah. The experience. I, yeah, the experience. The steakhouse, super delicious. Very tasty. Uh, the the, the, the filet mignon like, melted like butter. It was great. Um, but yeah, like you could find a good steakhouse, you know, anyway. just like well, yeah, probably down, down the block, you know. Yeah. Uh, but maybe not to that for that price, though. That price was incredible. It was. That's because part of it's already included on the price of the cruise. No, that was extra. Specialty mm-hmm. dining is extra cost to mm-hmm. the cruise. And that was $30 per person yeah. extra. That was a and steal for the amount of food yeah, that we got. You got a free bottle of wine. They give like... us a free appetizer along with the appetizer <clears throat> that comes with your menu. Mm-hmm. The entree, dessert. They give us a free bottle of wine. So all mm-hmm. for $30 per person. It, it was worth it. Yeah. But. Just I'll do it again for that price. For that, <laughs> no, <you're... laughs> but just saying, if you had to get rid of one of the specialty dining experiences that we've had, that would be the one. Yeah. Because the Asian was super good. Oh my god, so good. Yeah, the pork belly, yes. everything was bomb. Yeah. Uh, the Italian food, oh my gosh, that the was creme some of the best. Yeah, the creme brulee. Best Italian. I think my favorite specialty dining of the hibachi and the Asian and the Italian steakhouse was the chef's table. Oh, well, duh. <laughs> well, that was yours too? Yeah. We, I thought we were just yeah, sticking to like restaurants. Like legit specialty dining? Yeah. I mean, so, so we considered that more of an excursion since yeah. we did that at uh, the night of Grand Turk. Since mm-hmm. we didn't do an excursion at Grand Turk, we thought we'd spend that cash for uh, the chef's table that night. Um, and that was... By far, the most unique... Take all my money. Yeah, the most unique, like all of it. tasty experience ever. It was expensive. It was like 100 bucks per person, but you get loaded up with food. I don't think I've had any of the food. Like, the combinations and... The flavors. Yeah. It was all just unique. Just, yeah. Yeah, remember, check out our videos to see the different foods we had. and uh, It was an incredible experience. You yeah. learn a lot. You get your own little dining room. You make... You make it like a little group of people and from all over, all ages, and then you just kind of go around, introduce yourself, and then we ended up going up and getting a drink afterwards yeah. with another couple that we made friends with. It, um, 100% worth the money. Yeah, like, absolutely. If you are going to do one, one thing. thing, like that is the specialty dining slash excursion to do. Delicious. Delicious. They give you recipes. Like we got the recipe for the molded lava cake. Yeah, which you have still yet, haven't which made. Which you have it. yet to make me, and it's been February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, eight months, and you still I'm have not busy baked with that for corona. me. Mm. We should make a video about Corona. We should. Oh, well, we are. So she's a nurse, and uh, she went to New York City to help during the uh, the uh, when it was at the peak of the pandemic. And, Back in uh, April. Yeah, we'll talk about your experiences there pros cons uh just everything but yeah that's for a later video <laughs> overall before the cruise 10 being like the most fun she's ever had in her life um and then zero being absolutely horrendous before this cruise her mindset of the cruise would have been a negative hundred uh, I wouldn't say negative hundred. She had nothing to do. She she wanted, wanted nothing to do. She with wanted it. nothing to do with cruises. Uh, so that was on a scale of zero to ten. What would you rate 
your overall experience from the islands, the service, blah, 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 all, everything we just talked about. And, um, Say it. No, that was your instinct. <laughs> that was your gut instinct. Say it. Say it. Let it out. You know you want to. You <laughs> Say what you're gonna say. Go ahead. Do it. Right now. Let it out. Say it. Say it. Do um, it. Carly, now. Do it. I'll say give it, it uh, an 8.7. An 8.7. That is super high from negative 100. Pretty impressive. What but would you give a cruise? That cruise in particular, I would give it uh, probably a 9.2. I've been on many cruises in the past. Uh, this one was by far my favorite one. Because it was with me. Be obviously. obviously. It was because it was with you. Uh, all my other cruises, it was either with like my bros or my family. So, you know, it's like a different... Huh? Different <laughs> feel, different vibe. I never did excursions ever. This was the first time we ever did Isn't excursions. Isn't this like your first cruise over 21? No, I did a cruise when I was in medical school. Oh, with, uh, oh with, that's with, right. With the boys... The Cabros? With, with the Cabros, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, no. kind of. No, not, no. no. Uh, but yeah, I went in medical school, and that was fun too. But this one was definitely my favorite. Nicest ship. Went on all these excursions, which what I would do it in a heartbeat. Um, the, we went to more islands. Um, did the Cheers package. So yeah, uh, definitely the most fun. Would you go on another cruise in the future at some point? I would. As long as it's not another eight-day cruise. Correct. Uh, it was so too long for my liking. Even though I loved, like, 99% of it, especially the pizza. <laughs> oh, I yeah, the pizza. I would want to do, like, a five-day max. Like, maybe go to, like, two islands and spend a little more time in each island instead of going to four like we did here and spend, like, half a day in one or just six hours in one. Yeah, like an eight-day cruise by day seven and eight, it was like, all right, it's like, okay, it's time to go home. Yeah. Um, I, I think a six-day cruise cruise would be good because I feel like, uh, especially if it's a six-day cruise where you spend the majority at one or two islands, you right. know what I mean? Like an overnight. Um, like yeah. th there's a yeah, five, yeah. I think there's a five or six-day cruise going to Bermuda where you spend two or three days in Bermuda. That sounds fun to me. Yeah. Okay. I think we covered pretty much everything, right? Mm -hmm. So overall, so. you enjoyed the cruise. Yes. You would do another one in the future. Shorter, shorter and less islands with more time at yes. the island. Mm -hmm. But you would do it. Yeah. Would you bring your family onto one? Because they too <laughs> don't seem to be interested in cruises. It must be like this Ecuadorian mindset or something. I'm not sure. We all watched Titanic. Yeah, you all saw Titanic <laughs> and that's, that turned you guys off. Would you bring your... Would you, would you try to convince your mom and stuff to go on one? I think we would have to do the same thing you did to me. Just do it? <laughs> Just like buy the stuff behind their backs and like, sorry, yeah. non-refundable. Yeah. Gotta come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I think they would enjoy it. I think my grandma would cry. You think like so? Like she always does. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I think we definitely have to do I that. I think Milka would love it. Oh, for sure. She's going to want to go swimming every day. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, that mm. was our review on the Carnival Horizon. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos on cruising or travel or, or medicine, medicine or the life. military. Yeah, everything. PCSing. We might be PCSing. That is true. I got verbal orders. She thinks yeah. if I say things that aren't official yet, like hard happen. copy orders, they're not going to happen. Like I'm going to jinx that. it. I'm yes. not superstitious. You're a little stitious. I'm none, none of it. I want to say where I got verbal orders to. No. But I won't say it because she thinks I'm going to jinx it. So I'll keep it a secret until December time frame ish, maybe January. January, February, sometime around there where I get the physical hard orders in hand. I don't think we should say anything until we're there. So we'll check in. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll discuss. All right. Peace out. Bye.